Hey guys, welcome back. In this video, you are going to see another useful automation, which is going to streamline and easify your lead management process. I'm talking about an integration between Facebook lead ads and Salesforce in such a way that whenever you generate a new lead via Facebook ads, the same lead is going to be added inside Salesforce record automatically. So you do not have to manually fret to get the leads data and manually add them in Salesforce. So guys, this is going to save a lot of your time and boost your productivity. And the best part is you can set up this whole automation without any coding super simply. So if you want to learn this, stay tuned with me till the end. Let's start. To set up the workflow of this automation, we are using Pabli Connect, which is an automation tool. And you can reach here from the link I have pasted in the description. And from here, you can sign up for free and you will get free automation tasks every month to test such kind of amazing automations. So guys, sign up right now from the given link and then you can sign in to reach on the dashboard. From the dashboard, click on this create workflow button. Here you can provide a suitable name to your workflow. So let me give a name here. So I have given this name, create lead in Salesforce from Facebook lead ads. Okay, now click on create button and you can see the workflow page started loading up here. And on this page, guys, you will find the basic building blocks of our automation, which are the trigger and the actions. So guys, trigger is that event which starts the workflow and the actions are the automated responses of the trigger. In our use case, guys, getting a lead in via Facebook lead ads is going to trigger this workflow and the action would be to add the same lead in Salesforce. Okay. So when you click on this trigger window, it will ask you to choose the trigger application. So here you have to choose Facebook lead ads. Okay. Then select the trigger event as new lead. Okay. Then click on connect button. From here, we are going to create a new connection with our Facebook page uh, on which we are running the lead ads. Okay. So select add new connection option then click on connect with Facebook lead ads and it might bring you to the login window of Facebook if you are not logged in but I have already logged in here so it just get connected automatically okay like this then it will ask you select to select the page on which you are running the lead ad and then select the lead ad form so with every lead Facebook lead ad there is a lead ad form attached okay and with that, by filling that form, any person can submit that form and that's how you generate a lead. Okay. So here guys, you can see, make sure the lead form is active and has at least one lead information. If lead ads form has no lead information, then submit a dummy lead using Facebook lead test tool. Okay. So by clicking on this Facebook test tool, you can reach this page of meta okay and here it this is a lead ads testing tool here you can select your page on which you're running any lead ad like this i have selected and here it will show you show you the forms attached uh, inside the lead ad okay and here you can see in uh, the forms option here you will find the forms attached with the lead ad so guys uh, i have i am using this page named as pabli and on this page i have these uh, these number of lead generation forms attached okay on the ads so i'm going to use this test lead form let me show you the preview of this of the form so guys this is the preview of the form i have created you can customize these forms according to your needs i have just created this to show you the demo how you can get the leads so i have just selected uh, i have just created a few fields here to ask from my leads that is the gender the city details, the first name, last name, email, and the phone number. Okay, right. And as the person is going to fill this form and submit, you are going to generate a lead. Okay. So here, first of all, let me select the ad form. Let me refresh this. Okay. So first, first of all, let me select the page name. So my page name is Pabli. And these are the lead ad forms. I'm using this one test lead form. Okay. Now guys, you can see we have the save and send test request button. So by clicking this button, you can capture the data of a most recently generated lead out of your lead generation form. So guys, uh, first of all, I'm going to manually generate a lead here by filling this preview form. 
then let's capture the data so first of all let me select the uh, things asked here so I'm manually generating a lead here using the test tool so the name of the lead is test lead so guys I have filled these details you can see and here I'm clicking on clicking on next button and here you can see it started showing this page from here click on submit all right now you can close this it is showing thanks you are all set and here you can see it started showing up here your test lead has been sent okay now let me just click on save and send test request button here in the trigger and the same leads data will be captured like this here you can see it's showing gender female city delhi first name test last name lead okay that's how you can capture the data of a test lead now with the help of this test data i am going to move forward here in the automation setup and the action towards this trigger would be to create a record in salesforce so search for salesforce here and then you have to select the action event as new lead so select this create record option through this you can read uh, through this create record option you can create a contact and lead as well okay select this create record then click on connect button from here select add new connection then click on connect with salesforce and it will bring you to the login window if you are not logged in but i have already logged in so it is just asking me to provide the access of salesforce so just click on allow from here and you can see we are getting connected all right so we are now connected and here it is asking to select the object that you want to create as a record so when you click here it will show you many options from here you can search for lead option then select it and these fields will appear after that last name first name and all the things so guys i'm going to use the test data i have received here in the trigger and i'm going to map these labels i have received here in these steps okay to create a test lead in salesforce okay so to map the data just click here on this field last name field and the previous step is appearing in the drop down and when you click on it you will find the data right here so just map the last name label in the last name field map the first name label in the first name field if you want to select any salutation you can select it if you do not want to select it you can leave it okay company name you can in the company name you can provide your company name or the source company from where the lead is coming so i'm providing the company name as facebook ads let's say okay then it will ask for the address so if you have the address you can map it if you have the mobile number you can map it here let me map the mobile number okay if and the email address is also here let me map it right so guys i have mapped the things that i had and here you can see you can you can it is asking for the lead source so i am selecting let's say web okay status of the lead you can select the status i am selecting working industry if you know the industry you can map it here okay you can provide rating hot warm or cold i am selecting warm okay right and we, it has many options so you can use many options according to salesforce configuration and right now i'm just showing you the demo so i'm just mapping the required things and finally you can test your connection with salesforce by clicking on save and send test request button and a new lead will be added here inside the leads list in salesforce this is salesforce guys and here i'm clicking on save and send test request button and you can see i have received the this response it is showing a id and it is showing success okay this means a new lead is created as a record let me show you this is my lead section and i am refreshing the window here and here you can see guys we got a new lead added named as test lead coming from facebook ads this is the email address and you can see the lead status working owner everything which i have selected is there on salesforce so this is how it is going to work guys so we are done setting up this automation and you have to set up it only once after that guys this workflow is going to trigger whenever you are going to generate a new lead in facebook and add the record of that lead in salesforce and i'm going to paste the link of the same workflow in the description so that you can clone the same workflow in your own free public connect account and start using this automation instantly guys thank you so much for watching our video and please please let us know how our automation ideas are helping you in the comment section 
and if you have any queries related to this application please ask your queries from this forum link and do check the pricing of this application from this link and guys we are open to ideas if you want us that we should make videos on other aspects of your business please do let us know in the comment section and if you like our work please subscribe to our channel